In the new version of League of Legends Wild Rift, the creatures in Hextech Rift will see new changes, bringing fresh challenges for summoners. The Elder Dragon has received a new Hextech enhancement, featuring new skills and rewards for defeating it. When a summoner defeats the Hextech Elder Dragon, the defeating team will gain the Dragon's Wrath buff. When dealing damage, it will unleash a chain of lightning on the target, hitting multiple enemies and dealing true damage with each trigger. If the lightning chain only hits one target, it will deal additional true damage. Dragon's Wrath has a cooldown and can instantly eliminate enemy champions with low health. The attack power of the Hextech Dragon Mecha has been reduced, but its health, armor, and magic resistance have been increased. Meanwhile, the original first skill, Missile Barrage, of the Hextech Dragon Mecha will be replaced with Dragon Charge. The effect involves charging in a specified direction after a short delay, dealing physical damage to enemies in its path. It will stop upon hitting an enemy champion or terrain edge, knocking the champion back. The second skill, Amplification Field of the Dragon Mecha has a shortened cooldown but reduced shield value. The third skill, Iron Tail Sweep, has a reduced cooldown and increased damage. The ultimate skill, Laser Spray, has a significantly shortened cooldown and the movement speed reduction effect during its use has been reduced, allowing for faster movement. Players can now move more quickly. In the new version, when summoners ride the Dragon Mecha, all newly spawned minions will receive the Baron buff. However, the damage reduction from heroes under this effect for minions will also be lowered. This effect does not stack and is consistent with the buff provided to nearby minions by the Dragon Mecha. After adjustments, simply riding the Dragon Mecha will continuously enhance the minion waves that spawn afterward. Summoners can choose their offensive strategies more freely, whether splitting lanes or grouping to push, posing a continuous threat to enemy towers. A new Hextech Universal Treasure Chest Refresh Mechanism has been added to the jungle. In the early game, both jungles will each have a monster marked with the Hextech Universal Treasure Chest tag, aside from epic monsters and river crabs. Only when a marked monster is killed by a champion from the same team will it drop the Hextech Universal Treasure Chest claiming it will yield a random item. At the same time, the items in the Hextech Universal Treasure Chest have been adjusted. The Hextech Atmosphere component has been adjusted, changing the original health recovery effect to single target healing. A new jungle item has been added, which generates a ward upon use. When an enemy champion is detected, the ward will follow that champion. This will briefly expose their vision, after which the ward will disappear. A new item called Hextech Scan has been added, allowing for a wider scanning range upon use. During the scan, the user can destroy enemy scout wards or control wards with a single attack. However, this scan cannot be used simultaneously with a regular scan. The roar of the Elder Dragon and the rumble of the Dragon Mecha accompany the new transformation of Hextech Rift. Summoners will surely gain new powers in this version. Use this power to achieve victory.